Sunday lunch. Sunday lunch with your favourite Essex boy, Tony Smith. Tony Smith. On Phoenix 98 FM. Oh, Coldplay and Beyonce. Him for the weekend. Welcome to the weekend. It is Easter Sunday. And I'm joined by my guest, Eddie Weber. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Tony. How are you, mate? I'm very good, thanks. And you haven't been on show for it's about a year ago, I think. Well, yeah, I'm... it must be that long, yeah. But let me first say thank you and thank you for championing our calls, Tony, as always. I've, I've been practising this. Listen this. Here we go. <laughs> I've had an epiphany. <laughs> you need to go down about six decibels. I do not. I've had an epiphany. <laughs> I've had an epiphany. Of course, it's it's the, the the line that kicks off the series, isn't it? Yes. It, well, he does. He's, he he has an epiphany. It's he, he he's he's, a, he's working on a building site, Mickey from Power to the People, and uh, it starts off. The day starts off where he's he's been working the day before. He's fell asleep on the sofa. He, he gets up. He looks at his electric bill. He looks at all these other bills, his access bill and his credit card bill, and he looks at his bank account and he's sort of two hundred quid lower than what his bills have got. Mm, another so, feeling. Yeah, he goes out to go to work. He walks down the stairs, walks out of his flats that he's been living in for forty years, and his car's clamped. Then his dad has an heart attack. Then he goes to the hospital, and, then, and and in the hospital waiting room, there's all people sitting there with packed lunches and all sorts of things. And all of a sudden, he has this epiphany. You know, he wants to start a political party. So, if people haven't seen it, it's a six series, isn't it? Um, internet TV program. Well, what we've done, we the power to the people. Yeah, obviously, for those who don't know about it, was a, uh, an internet series that we shot for YouTube a couple of years ago, and. Uh, now we just it, we feel it's time to go forward with the projects and develop it into a excuse the Americanism here a five season TV series for British television, you know because we all know about all the shenanigans that have been going on in the last couple of weeks in the House of Commons with Osborne and all these stupid policies that they're trying to bring out. And you've got the mayor election in May and a referendum in June. So we just feel now that the time is really right for a London-based political satire comedy series from a working-class perspective so that, you know, that we can put our neutral views across. Mm. I know we've all got our thoughts of who we want and who we don't want and who it is, but we want to really try and stay neutral and we want to try and really be the voice of the silent majority that, mm. you know, that, that, that are starved of this information. Mm. It's OK if you're politically aware of everything that's going on, but there's a lot of people that just... Their heads are just blitzed with information that is totally, totally scaremongering and irrelevant. I said to my children the other day, one's Alfie and Barney, they're uh, 18... And twenty, and I said to him, "What are you going to vote in in you know in 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 Europe and all that?" And they didn't have a clue. They just didn't have a clue. So I think it's time, as I said, for a a sort of London-based political satire from a working-class perspective. Mm. And I'm not dismissing the middle classes out of this because it's relevant to everyone. But I'm working class, so. You know, I can only write with what I know. You Absolutely. know what I mean? And of course, series like that, uh, even with Only Fools and Horses, was set in, in for working class. But the, the political thing's been done. Um, I mean, we had Yes Minister. Was it? Was, was, was well, well, I think the nearest. The eighties. Whoa, that's oh. it. Look, sorry, that's Easter Trump, Day. Did. That's Easter Day. That's someone <laughs> trying to tell us something. That was like it sounded like explosion. That was a banner just fell that down was, in the studio. It made me jump. That it was made lightning. You jump. That was lightning striking <laughs> the striking the thing. No, and it, it just has a picture of a rocket going up on the TV as well. Yeah. So it just could have been that. No, so God. what we've done... My ticker's gone, my ticker's Tony, gone. Tony, we've, we've, we've released a single, uh, uh, you know, Tramper Price, who, who wrote the original theme tune, has extended the theme tune now into a three-minute uh, single, which, you know, we're trying to sell to people. You can buy it on Amazon and you can buy it on iTunes and you can also go to our website, which is www.powertothepeopletv.com and there's also a 40 minute pilot of of 
the, the, the YouTube uh, series. So it'd be lovely. Have a watch of it. See what, you know, you can go to the video page on our website and you can have a look at the pilot. And if you feel that it's something that you, you'd like to help with and get involved with, buy our single, which you can buy it on that same website with just a click of a button, really. And what we're saying to people really is... You know, a mantra in the show is the universe is with us. So, I love that bit. Yeah. The universe is with us. Well, you know, we believe that the vibrations of the universe are connected to everything. You know, we don't have to work hard if the, if the universe is with us. But not only that, there's an opportunity here for people. I think on iTunes it's 79p and on yes, Amazon it. it's 99p. So with that pound or that 79p, there's, there's, there's an opportunity for people to change our universe, but also to be involved in something that can be quite exciting from its grassroots to take it to wherever. Who knows, in five years' time, you know, it, it might be a, a political explosion yeah. or whatever you know our fools and horses and how these things work but there's a lovely progression of the characters in this show the yeah, first is. season is i mean we've swapped the story around a little bit where mickey tobin he he, he was like a bob crow character yeah, yeah in right. the rmt and he was fantastic you know representing the the working people of the of the rmt and negotiations, he left. He left the R. He leaves the RMT under acrimony. You know, he, he doesn't get on with the with with the general secretaries and all that because with the TFL and the RMT negotiations have got away from the real meaning of what they should be, and they've become quite egotistically sort of directed. Mm -hmm. You know. It, it's, it's not business anymore, it's show face, it's ego, yeah. it's Johnson. No, I want to show these people this. And RMT, I went, so what they decide to do, secretly they asked Mickey Tobin to come back and stand for mayor. Oh, right. So underneath it all, the RMT say, we'll give you all our resources to stand for mayor, but you mustn't say nothing to no one. <laughs> And so he goes out and he starts the mayor, him and Terry starts the uh, the mayor campaign. But as it goes on and on and on, he realises that the RMT want him in his pocket. But Mick is such a man of principle that he says, well, well, no, you know, I'm going for the people. And it's like when I was driving here today, the traffic was just outrageous, you know, for a Sunday, for an Easter day. And he starts pulling in policies like a, a car-free Sunday in London, you know, introducing that, that no, and public transport is all free, and the powers that be really don't like it. So that's when their war comes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Which leads us to the second series, where he becomes mayor. Right. Third series, he does so good at mayor that they asked him to form a political party, hence... The People's Advocate Party is born, the PAP. Yeah. yeah, the PAP. And then so forth, so forth. Do they actually attain the top job? I like the bit, I ain't wearing that. It's pink. Yeah, it's pink, purple and brown. Yeah. <laughs> Pat. It, it, when you, uh, if you watch the first series, actually, if you go onto YouTube, uh, the Piffany is actually the, the name of the first series, yes. isn't it? Uh, once but you've watched you that. can't really see the first series now because what we've done, we've condensed all the episodes. All right. And we've graded it and done all the sound into one pilot. Oh, I see. With, like I said, you can see that on our website. Again, may I say the, yeah, the website, yeah. which is www.powertothepeopletv, all one word, dot com. Dot com. And it is well worth a watch. It's <laughs> really funny as well. Let's get to the single, because we're going to play it in a sec. Uh, Tramper Price, tell me about, about him. Well, Tramper's got quite a, a, a good history, really. He, he's, his father, uh, Jim Price, was... was uh, what do they call it with trumpets and... Oh, trombone, is it? No, uh, but what, what's the name? Brass section, Brass section, brass section of the Rolling Stones, you know. And, and he worked with... George Harrison on All Things Must Pass and a, and a Plastic Ono band oh, right, with yep. John Lennon. You know, Tramp has got a little bit of history with John Lennon. You know, John Lennon used to pick him up and cuddle him and things like that. So over the years, he's just been 
plodding on as you do as a musician and as an artist and as a you know he, he, he's engineered some really nice little tunes i met him when he was in a band called glider and he was playing with jesse wood ronnie wood's boy yeah. and and a guy called willie boyd who was the nephew of eric clapton and so and then when we started making the series you know he said look let me write the theme tune so yeah lovely fantastic and he come up with power to the people and so as we now we want to go forward and develop it into this tv series we said hey look you know let's make a full single and try and get people power onto it to buy the single to help us fund the series because another reason behind making the series ourselves is that we don't get censored you know, if we work with the BBC, because we've got a lot of things to say about the BBC in the series, you know, <laughs> yeah, and, and stuff. So if we've got established TV companies sort of funding us and all that, there's a lot we can't say and a lot we can't do. So, as I said, we really, really are pleading, actually, to ask people to buy the single to help us make the series. We've got a little video that's accompanying the series. But at the moment, we've just got a couple of little problems with the video, which we are going to release probably Monday, if it all sorts out, on our Twitter feed, which is at capital P to capital T, capital P movie. So power to the people in letters and numbers movie at Twitter. So if you can give us a follow, you can you can get the exclusive release of the video. The uh, song was released on Friday 25th. It was Friday the 25th, and it's going, it's flying off the shelves. So people are supporting us, and people are really getting behind what we're doing. Oh, no further ado, let's listen to it. Tramper Price, Power to the People. A local party run by local trusty people. Can't fail. I know exactly what I call it. The people's advocate party. If you keep pushing a man, one day the man's gonna push you back. We're gonna get together, chuck your plans and give you the sack. And you can try but you fail to stop a human evolution. A political party. You've been saying that for years. Got a name? People's Advocate Party. Education secretary can't do multiplication. Retirement age higher than Osborne's inebriation. With just a third of a vote for Lincoln Club think that they own us. They start the working in to see their bankers get their power. Every year to social needs, to local people's needs. Look, no more should we, as local people, stand for the corruption of the local council.
Sunday lunch. Sunday lunch with your favourite Essex boy, Tony Smith. Tony Smith. On Phoenix 98 FM. Power to the people. All right, we'll be back with Eddie straight after these. Book your table at the Balti House, Brentwood's finest bring-your-own-drinks Indian restaurant. Make the most of our special offers, including our five-course meal deal, served Sunday to Thursday for just $13.95, or our Sunday buffet open from 1.30 until 9. Takeaway is also available with 10% off delivery and 15% off collection. Plus, a free side when you order over £12 and quote Phoenix FM for both eat-in and takeaway. Find us on Hart Street, Brentwood, or give us a call on 01277 202 292. On Platform One, we have Jamie. Yes. And Kate and Emily. Hiya. Jamie, Kate and Emily are days out quids in with C to C trains as they head to London for the day, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we are actually. Be like these guys and save a third on C to C tickets when three or more of you travel off peak with group save. C to C trains. For more great fares, visit C to C online today. Terms and conditions apply, excludes travel within zones one to six. Hi, I Pop Pickers. This is Mikey here. Just in case you didn't realise, I now present the Breakfast Show on Phoenix FM, and we uh, we talk about stuff like, um, you know, what 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 um what what do we talk about? What do we talk rubbish, rubbish. We talk about rubbish and stuff like are Tina Turner's legs on back to front? What shape would chairs be if your knees bent the other way? And why don't sheep shrink in the rain? So if you want to join me for some absolute nonsense between seven and ten every weekday morning. Come along, 98FM and online, phoenixfm.com. Brought to you in association with St. Francis Hospice. Proud of the past and dedicated to the future. Welcome back. Welcome back, Eddie. I'm um, here with Eddie Webber. Thank you for listening to Power Turn of Ping Pong. It was a great track, great track. <laughs> and uh, if you've just listened to it and you're thinking, oh, I want to buy that, I want to get that, it's uh, on iTunes and Amazon. Yes, and you can buy it from our website, which is www.powertothepeopletv.com. But most important, there's a a 40-minute pilot. Have a look at it and see what we're doing. I think you'll love it. Let's talk about some of the people in it, because you've got um, Danny Dyer. We've got Danny, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. He's doing well to that, isn't he? Well, you know, I, I love him in EastEnders. He's absolutely fantastic. But Danny's a great actor, you know. Danny's a very versatile actor. Not not a lot of people, not a lot of people know that. Yeah. But, you know, his comedy is absolutely bang on, Danny. If you look at this episode, he plays a really, really seedy counsellor that's, <laughs> that's giving flats. And he's got a fetish. But I won't tell you what the fetish is until you... Look at the uh, the pilot because it might not be appropriate over radio. It's not dirty or anything, but but yeah, you know. And and since 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 he's done the series, he's in EastEnders now. And and I, I mean, I, I think I don't know about you, Tony, but I think he's he's breathed a new lease of life into EastEnders. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't normally watch it. It's one of the things I miss because the time I get, I get in. But uh, it, I think that a lot of people thought he was a bit of a one-trick pony, but it's absolutely completely wrong. I mean, if you see him in some of the other... Obviously, he plays great gangster roles and that type of... But he also, as you say, he's very versatile. Uh, and I, I've watched him... Uh, funny enough, I was watching him on um, the uh, one of the programs the other day, Sports Relief. Yes. Uh, he'd gone over and he was doing some chance yeah. work with that. It's quite moving, uh, yeah. what, what he said. Um, but uh, I'll keep seeing him in the paper. Every time I see him in the paper, he's dressed as a girl. I know, but, you know, Danny's an actor. You <laughs> we'll know. have to phone him up one day, won't we? Yeah, there's, you know, Danny's an actor. And like I said, you know, because people have got their... What's the word I'm looking for? Their... Mindset? Yeah, their mindset about Danny. They don't realise that Danny's an actor. You know, Danny's worked with Harold Pinter on stage. He's done a lot, a lot of things. And, and of course, as a man with children and a mortgage, he has to work, mm. you know. And, and hey, you can't turn work down if people are offering you money. So he's done a lot of stuff purely for, you know, being a man and going out and get, gotta work. His, get his money for yeah. his kids. Credit and his, and his wife and everything, but he's a he's a he supports us so much, Danny. You know, you you, you think they get into EastEnders and you think they lose their head, but he's still so down to earth, Danny. And 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 loyalty and things. You know, that they run high in our little crowd. 
What's uh, you you've got Jeff as well in the uh, program. Jeff, another one who's starting to go from strength to strength. You know, Jeff is is, is doing Hollywood movies now. You know, if you check him out and. He's he's growing up, so you know they might even grow out of this show. You know, Danny, we definitely, you know, might have a problem with his contract for EastEnders, because when once you do that show, they've got you to the hilt, sort of thing. Yeah, I you suppose know, so. Yeah. They've got you to the hilt. You can't have any. You've got to be cleaner than clean, really. You know, and uh, but Jeff, you know, again, he's climbing. So again, like we said, our mantra in the show is that the universe is with us, you know. So if the universe makes it right, it makes it right. It's a lot bigger than than us putting our minds to it sort of thing. So when we're quite chilled out to just let the flow go, the main thing at the moment is to get the money to make the series, you know. And, and everyone thinks, oh, these actors, they're all rich, they're all this. But, you know, we're not rich. The British film industry is has gone down the pan because of funding, you know. And I was I was listening on the radio this morning um, about the health secretary, you know, talking about if if we come out of Europe, you know, the national health will just go down the pan. And we're giving twelve billion pound a year away for foreign aid. And so we're a rich country when it comes to foreign aid, but when it comes to sort of taking a billion pound off of disabled people, we're a poor country. So I think politics at the moment is just totally, totally... There's no logic to it, you know? What logic can these, can these governments put forward of borrowing money to give... 12 billion away it's like going to the bank and asking for a mortgage and then giving that mortgage money away and you've got to pay for it i mean it's just no logic to has it. it has it changed much since i mean you started off at uh, morley college and Bu yes and bubble theater wasn't it yes um which is uh it, 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 is that uh is that are those things still around can people still train it for they those? still do morley college is still there the london bubble is still there and 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 they, and they were just great because jeff went to london bubble uh went to morley College as well, and so did another great actor called Johnny Harris. Oh, I right, don't yeah. know if you know Johnny Harris. No, another. He's name. going from strength to strength now, you know. And it, and 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 we come to it from this perspective of growing up in seventies comprehensive England. I went to a comprehensive school in Bermondsey, St Michael's, and and I remember talking to the career officer, and the career officer telling me that you know I can be a bricklayer or a plumber or a whatever else they plaster her and, and all that. And I didn't want to be in any of them, you know. So the majority of people like Jeff, myself, Johnny Harris, Danny Dyer, you know, we, we come to it with a passion because we've had to do it on our own because no one else says, my dad, you want to be a what, an actor? But I was lucky I was in my 20s when I'd done it. <laughs> you know, if I would have said that to him at 15, the answer would have been a completely different thing you know because yeah. the arts in the 70s from out from from a working class perspective was not acknowledged whatsoever yeah. you know you had to the 60s fantastic you yeah. know you wanted to be the beatles you wanted to be john osborne you wanted to write you wanted to be pinter you wanted to do that it was open for you but then the establishment closed that down because the working classes were getting too mm. big you, for their boots you had uh, ricky Ricky Glover as well. Ricky it? Grover. Grover, yeah. Did you see him last night on Big Fat Gypsy Gangster? No, I was, I was working, but uh, I've Sky Plus it. So well, it's it. on Tuesday. Oh, it's on Tuesday. So it's on Tuesday again. People, please watch this movie. Ricky Grover. It's a great film. And Ricky really Grover has got a character called Buller That's that it. I know you all know. And he's made a movie called Big Fat Gypsy Gangster. And this is a selfish plug. This is. Watch it. It's on London Live. The next viewing, I think, is on Tuesday, and it's got the likes of Jeff Bell, Roland Manukian, Omid, uh, Peter Capaldi, Leo Gregory. It's just a fantastically... Was it Andy Linden? Andy Linden, and you know. And uh, what about Leila Morse? She's still well, Andy about? Linden, he plays Big Brian in Power to the People. Oh, that's right, yeah. 
and Andy's is only a small fella. And Layla was in it. I know Layla was in because Layla she, was in last it. time you was in, she I think she'd not come. She not long. She she went in the jungle, didn't she? She went into the jungle. Yeah, I've heard some stories about that. I got to tell you, I mean Layla's the worst person to be stuck in the jungle. Oh, okay. yeah, it was good it. TV though. It was funny, funny, but it's so mad that I was talking to her about it, and my son Barney was in a. He, he, he finished a play yesterday, nineteen eighty four, George Orwell, and it's the Big Brother syndrome, and and just that concept of cameras watching you twenty four hours a day, it just drives you insane. She said, it's because you forget about it. And then you don't realise the cameras are there and they trick you into being yeah, after yourself, you know? And and another beautiful person, Daniela Westbrook, who we're going to bring into the TV series. Now, that'd be good. She's making a bit of a comeback at the moment. She's well. lovely, Daniela. She was now, in Big Brother not too, uh, a couple of weeks, well, a month or so ago. She was indeed, and I thought she'd done absolutely fantastic. Mm. And Daniela, again, is another underestimated actress, OK? Her publicity that's, that surrounded her... The paparazzi hunted her down and they just absolutely ruined her. But she's coming back now, you know, Daniela. And she's a great supporter of what we're doing. And Daniela, I love you dearly. And crack on, girl. Yeah, come visit us on the show. Yeah, yeah. visit Tony on the We'd show and have, have a on. chat. Right, we're going to have a bit of music and uh, we'll be back. And I'm going to talk to you about uh, Ravensbourne University. Who made the Ravensbourne, first, yes. Yeah, the first yes. Danny Prescott, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you like a bit of Clash? I love the Clash. Here we go, London Calling. Yay!
Sunday lunch with your favourite Essex boy, Tony Smith. Tony Smith. On Phoenix 98 FM. Book your table at the Balti House, Brentwood's finest bring-your-own-drinks Indian restaurant. Make the most of our special offers, including our five-course meal deal, served Sunday to Thursday for just $13.95, or our Sunday buffet open from 1.30 until 9. Takeaway is also available with 10% off delivery and 15% off collection. Plus, a free side when you order over £12 and quote Phoenix FM for both eat-in and takeaway. Find us on Hart Street, Brentwood, or give us a call on 01277 202 292. On Platform 1, we have Jamie. Yes. And Kate and Emily. Hiya. Jamie, Kate and Emily are days out quids in with C2C trains as they head to London for the day, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we are actually. Be like these guys and save a third on C2C tickets when three or more of you travel off-peak with Group Save. C2C trains. For more great fares, visit C2C online today. Terms and conditions apply. Excludes travel within zones 1 to 6. Hi, I Pop Pickers. This is Micah here. Just in case you didn't realise, I now present the breakfast show on Phoenix FM, and we uh, we talk about stuff like, um, you know, what 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 um what what do we talk about? What do we talk rubbish, rubbish. We talk about rubbish and stuff like are Tina Turner's legs on back to front? What shape would chairs be if your knees bent the other way? And why don't sheep shrink in the rain? So if you want to join me for some absolute nonsense between seven and ten every weekday morning. Come along, 98FM and online, phoenixfm.com. Brought to you in association with St. Francis Hospice. Proud of the past and dedicated to the future. Phoenix FM Travel News in association with the Beaches Care and Nursing Home, London Road, Brentwood. Right, roads are seen to have cleared up around Brentwood. The early incident on Yonga Road is now gone, so if you're heading that way, it uh, should be nice and clear. Uh, M25 still got the problems uh, heading into Lakeside. That's the slip road where they're doing the uh, the widening of the of the lane there, so uh, not causing too much of a problem, uh, mainly going in. It's OK coming out. Right, so trains, different matter, underground station, uh, closed at Central Line at Holland Park due to uh, maintenance work. Work. Also, a district line between Allgate East and Dagenham due to today's engineering works. Uh, Hampsmith and City uh, between Liverpool Street and Barking. Disruption there. Also, reduced escalated service on the Piccadilly Line, Jubilee Line, and Victoria Line and Green Park due to today's engineering works. There's no service on the Metropolitan Line between Moor Park and Amersham and between Moor Park and Chesham due to engineering works. And Overground is currently looking like this. Uh, over- no Overground between Sydenham and Crystal Palace. Uh, and no service between Camden Road and Stratford. And last but not least, uh, Highbury and Islington and Shadwell. No service there due to today's engineering works. Everything else looks like tickety-boo. Uh, you're up to date on 98. The time is 13.43. Join us at the beaches. Regular seminars for care fee planning, social get-togethers and lunch clubs. Visit signaturecarehomes.co.uk for more information. Sunday lunch. Sunday lunch with your favourite Essex boy, Tony Smith. Tony Smith. On Phoenix 98 FM. It's that man again. Yes, you're listening to Tony Smith on Phoenix 98 FM. Ruddy marvellous. Chill out now. It's good, isn't it? I love it. The old voiceover man from X Factor. Yeah, he's done that for me. Ruddy marvellous. 454. Welcome. Uh, big brother, <laughs> Welcome back, Eddie Weber. We're talking about powers of people, and uh, we was we, I was about to talk about the university help make the uh, first series, didn't they? Um, yes, Ravensbourne uh, University. Uh, uh, it's, it's just opposite the uh, the O2 Arena. So what we've done when 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 when, we, when the concept of powers of the people w- w- was born, we, the ethos of our company was to use students the best students in in the last year of raisin ravensbourne and there was there was a, a friend of mine called danny prescott who who grew up in bermondsey you know and he was doing the course and so we incorporated danny to produce uh the, the internet series and he brought in uh all these friends from ravensbourne uh the cameraman and sandman and 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 everything yeah so it was created really like an experiment because the reason we've took the episodes down is because we shot all the episodes in different f- camera formats so you'd watch 
episode one, which we shot on uh, DSLRs, which you've got one now. And then the episode two, we shot on a thing called the RED camera, which is a big, powerful uh, camera. And then episode three and onwards, we shot on a Sony camera. So we thought, right, we gave uh, all the episodes to some friends of ours in Loco Soho. It's a, a post house in, in, in the West End. And they did it all for us for free. Loco Soho, fantastic if you need any post-production uh, work done. And what they've done, they graded all six episodes and cleaned up the sound and everything and put it all into one, you know, as a pilot. And it's far more pleasing on the eye, really. And because these kids that we used from Ravensbourne were a little bit inexperienced, there was a few little mistakes that they made, which was obvious, as we all do at the beginning of our journeys. And so it's all cleaned up now. So, you know, I, I think you'll see, people that have watched the episodes and now watch the 40 minute pilot, I think they'll, they'll actually see the difference in quality now, you know? Now, we, I know we can't mention the name of the insurance company, but I keep seeing your boat race on uh, certain adverts. Yes. How funny. What, the Kytel one? Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful... I mean, it... it, it, it oh, God, and what can you say? You know, I've been watching Harvey Kytel since I was 13 years of age. And to, uh, it's a really funny story. I don't know if I can... You know, it, uh, I will say it, actually. He kept forgetting his lines. A lot of the bit where he goes, prize plum, on one of the adverts, Yeah, there? well, he kept forgetting... Timing's great. He kept forgetting his lines, and so, you know, he, I don't know what it was. It was just, I mean, he's, uh, he's 75 years of age. Now. Is he really? But, uh, yeah, he's... And uh, so I thought, OK, I'll, 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 I'll forget a couple of lines and all that. So I went and uh, looked at the director, the director winked at me and all that. It's... Uh, and then his wife, when we finished shooting, his wife come on to the... Uh, onto the set. She went, hi, Harvey, how are you doing? And all that. He said, yeah, I'm fine, but the kid keeps forgetting his lines. <laughs> I'm 52 years of age and he's calling me a kid, but to be called a kid by Harvey Keitel was just a blessing, you know. Good fun to make? Oh, really fun. Really, really fun. And do you know I was the first person to work with Winston Wolfe, that character, after Pulp Fiction? No one... My advert was the first oh, one. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was the first person to actually work with Winston Wolfe after Pulp Fiction, which, you know, in my books is something to put a tick on, you know? I was watching something the other day. I can't remember what it was. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a detective series. I think the detective might have been a woman. I can't remember. Or, or, but you, was one of, you played one of the inspectors as a policeman. I can't think of the name of the programme. Oh, I've done so many. It was probably The Bill, was it? Or oh, I, I don't can't know. Remember. I can't it was, remember. And I was watching it. I was thinking, oh, it's, it's Eddie. It's oh, Eddie. it wasn't... Uh, Not Vera. It uh, wasn't uh, J.K. Amalu's uh, movie, Assassin, was it? With might Danny. Have might have been, yeah. With Danny Dyer. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, I was playing the cop that was chasing him around. That was it, yeah, yeah. 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 Assassin, yes. That yeah. was his last film, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was the on, Kemp brothers. That the was two it. Kemp brothers. It was yeah. on. Uh, I came up on on Sky and uh, I thought, oh, I'll watch that. And uh, and I forgot he was in it. Yeah, it's Eddie. It's Eddie. Yeah, it's Eddie. yeah it's but cool. that's the one. I t I've got to tell you. I mean, Harry hasn't got the acclaim it deserves. This big fat gypsy gangster. I just don't know. I mean, Ricky Grover is just a genius, and he's an East End boy as well. You know, he's out of Canning Town, which is close. Yeah. Enough to hear, isn't it? Really. And yes, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. I'd rather talk about Big... No, I'd rather talk about Power to the People, but, you know, Big Fat Gypsy Cancer comes a close second. Yeah. Right, we're nearly out of time, but uh, let's, let's go through the, uh, the motions again. Now, if, uh, if you want to get hold of the single or you want to uh, watch the, the, the episode, you can go online and type in... www.powertothepeopletv.com or to get exclusive uh, news about what we're going on with the video we want to release, it, you can go to our Twitter account, which is capital P, the number two, capital T, capital P, movie, at P, 
P2TP movie on Twitter and everything uh, that you need to know will be uh, released on that one. Okay, and if you miss any of that, if you miss the interview, you can catch it again on demand from tomorrow around about uh, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock time. Oh, I can't wait for that one. It'll all be online, and you'll also get uh, I'll put all the links to all the sites relevant as well, Brilliant. so you can catch that on phoenixfm.com. Watch out for the links, and on Facebook as well, Sunday Lunch Show. Right, we'll have a, a couple of ads, and then we've got a bit of jam. Oh, can't, can't <laughs> be a bit of jam. Say, that's what I was like. Oh, what, what, oh. The Brentwood Festival is back. Dozens of bands and singers over two stages, including Tony Hadley, ABC, The Boomtown Rats, Level 42, Soul to Soul, The Brand New Heavies, The Jewelers, and Missing Andy. There's also Weekend Camping, The Food Village, Festival Market, Fairground.